tax shield is an allowable deduction that saves you money on a tax bill. They differ between countries based on what's eligible or legal in the jurisdiction, but here are some examples of the most common tax shield deductions, depreciation expense, amortization expense, and interest expense. The value of these tax shields depends on how high the effective tax rate is and the value of the deductions for the company. Now, let's look at how tax shields are used. Companies use them in two main areas. One is for capital structure optimization, and the other is accelerated depreciation methods. With capital structure optimization, since interest expense is tax deductible, however the cost of equity is not tax deductible, meaning dividends are not tax deductible, it makes debt funding that much cheaper than equity funding. In terms of accelerated depreciation methods, there's a couple things to point out. One is that depreciation is a non-cash expense, meaning the company doesn't actually pay the expense to anyone. So it makes sense for them to accelerate the depreciation, make it as quick as possible, meaning make the expense as high as possible in the early years so that they can lower their taxable income and lower their taxes because taxes actually are a cash expense. Now let's look at some example calculations. The tax yield formula is equal to the deduction times the tax rate. Here's an example. A company has a debt balance of $8 million with a 10% coupon or interest rate on that debt and a 35% tax rate. So the interest expense on the debt is what the deduction is. And what the deduction is, is $8 million times 10% equal to 800000 so the interest tax yield is 800,000 times 35% is 280,000 just in that one single year. The net present value of the tax yield benefit would be equal to the tax yield in each of the years of this bond's life discounted back to the present. Hopefully this illustrates to you how companies use tax yields to lower their taxable income and reduce their taxes.